Today I want to film episode 2 of my little mini cat update. If you haven't seen the last episode, go watch that quickly. <clears throat> today I'm talking a little more deeply about what my macros are and where I'm coming from. Today um, is day 4, it's Friday and I already lost more than 3 pounds. I'm on 138 point, point one. I already had breakfast, my protein brownie in the morning and I tried to film it so that you see um, the exact gram number I use for everything. It turned out amazing. Right now it turns out perfectly every single time because I really make sure to use the exact same um, grams of water and dry ingredients every single time. Tasted amazing. 30 grams of whey, 5 grams of baking powder, 5 grams of cocoa powder. I usually have 4 to 5 grams of sweetener, a little bit of salt, then the same number of water as I have dry ingredients so I had 45 grams. I also added a little bit of peanut butter, not necessary, but all of that in the microwave for 30 seconds, not longer and it's a delicious small breakfast. It's very very small, very tiny because I'm gonna go and hit the gym right now right away. I'm gonna train upper body today, it's my last workout for this week and what I have never done before is going a little bit higher with my reps. I usually stay in the rep range of 6 to 8 reps but since I already did pull, push and two leg days. I want to try to do the upper body day uh, which I have once a week in the rep range of 12 to 15. I on, I still have to figure out what way to use and stuff like that but that will be fun today. For that I already got my supplements, my pre-workout and some BCAAs and intra-workout gummies ready. I gotta really get a normal gym bag I guess. Anyway that works for now. Let's get to the gym. experience. I'm not used to training in those high reps but I know it's important to train this way as well. I'm gonna continue keeping it in and I'm gonna, I'm sure I'll like it. I'll learn to like it one day. It is important to have a workout plan in my opinion just to make progress. I just want to let you know again I personally really enjoy writing those workout plans so if you're a little overwhelmed with all the exercises and sets and reps and ways you can train um, send me an email and I'd love to work out something for you. He said that I'm starving right now so I'm gonna make myself a protein fluff and some cereal. Here we got a serving of cereal. Uh, really liking those cookie crisps. <laughs> the more I eat of them, the more I like them because they are very light, so you get a lot of volume, what is pretty nice. And then here I weighed out everything for you. So I used 120 grams of water, 120 grams of ice cubes, 35 grams of whey, a little bit of salt, sweetener, and then 2 grams of xanthan gum. And then I mixed that for maybe 30 seconds. It is so nice and it's so much food. That's amazing because that will fill me up for quite some time and then I'll be back in a little bit. Good morning. 
morning. It's the next day and I got a, another grocery haul for you. Saturday is my grocery day. I like to go grocery shopping just once a week. It uh, saves time. It saves money and it saves a lot of energy and nerves. I usually go to Walmart and this time I honestly I got very boring stuff only. We didn't need a lot and since I'm trying to cut, like for example I think today was the first week where I did not get new cereal. I still eat cereal but not that many so I don't go through one or two whole boxes in a week. I divided it a little bit in proteins, fat, carbs and extra stuff so over here a lot of eggs i right now eat four eggs a day i go through all of them in a week almost turkey breast which i fill in my low carb wraps and sandwiches cheese for some fats and just to make everything taste a little better my favorite uh, way right now is this vanilla way by optimum nutrition it's vanilla ice cream tastes amazing then coming to carbs i only needed vegetables chopped spinach where i like to have a bag um, a day it's very easy and handy it's usually a part of my lunch and cabbage for the low carb wraps and i use one cabbage thing for i think eight leaves i get from that and everything else i used to just snack on rice cakes and then i got a little bit of extra stuff without a <laughs> nutritious value but it helps me get through a day this monster is my favorite monster right now what was it like apple flavor i think it's so delicious then some caramel sauce no, it's French vanilla. Last time I had caramel. Yeah, I was right. Last time it was caramel. I like to put that in my protein fluff instead of Splenda. They didn't have my favorite cold brew this time. I usually go with this one. I'm loving it. I have never tried this iced coffee by Starbucks, but it's not cold brew, so I don't expect too much. Still, coffee is coffee. Um, this is all I got. Besides that, my staples are um, oats. For sure. I like to use this flour for my protein brownie if I make it in higher carb. And for my fats I still have peanut butter in here for again the protein brownie, very important. Cocoa powder. I still got all of that here. And then here my cereal stack. Favorite cereal right now. I still have more than half of the whole box in here and I still have some uh, Lucky Charms Frosted Flakes. All kinds of gummy bears even more oats so i think we are good now i got a meal prep a little bit and since i have to head to work later on no it's a saturday i'm gonna show you two what i always take to work with me the things i take to work changed a lot lately because i'm trying to get more and more efficient with room storage and cleaning stuff after that's why the only lunch box i have is here with the protein brownie again then i have a little bag with 30 grams of oats 10 grams of whey and 10 grams of granola the place where i work has happily a microwave and little bowls we can use i'll just have to fill it in there put water in and can eat it same thing with this that's just some uh, vegan protein powder with which i always make a little protein mousse i showed the protein mousse in my last video so check that out if you don't know what i mean with protein mousse it's amazing and also some something to snack on just salad and my low cup wraps my one of my favorite meals with cheese ketchup a little bit of butter and turkey breast it's very very delicious all right last thing then what i also started doing is i boil eggs i don't pan fry them anymore i just boil them and then i mash them up like this that's gonna be my lunch right now um hard boiled eggs two of them mashed up on a bed of um, spinach just with some salt it's so good and i currently like it better than scrambled eggs anyway plus what's a very big perk in my opinion is that nothing smells i don't like the smell of uh, fried eggs if you just boil them there's no smell amazing and that's what i'm gonna do at work too i'll just um mash them up and some carrots to snack on but back to here lunch um with half of a bun with ketchup turkey breast and some butter and here i have a paste of vegan protein powder peanut butter and cocoa powder as a little dessert now it's time for me to head to work i really don't want to go today i don't i just saturday but anyway i gotta go thank you so much for watching again if you liked it please like this video subscribe and i'll see you in the next one